there are four things you can reset in a GS4 drive. The drive parameters, the drive's built-in PLC, the kilowatt hour display, and the optional communications cards. Now before resetting the drive or the PLC, make sure the PLC is disabled. You don't want it trying to control the drive while resetting the drive, and you can't reset the PLC while it's active. You'll see the PLC status here on the main screen if it's enabled. If it is, go to the main menu, item 4, and select Disable and press Enter. The PLC can't be in either Run or Stop mode to be reset. It has to be disabled entirely. To reset the drive, go to parameter 908 and enter a 9 to reset to 50 Hz or a 10 to reset to 60 Hz. Before I hit Enter, a word of caution. If you created a password in parameter 807, then you'll have to enter it in parameter 806 to be able to reset the drive's parameters. If I press Enter, I see an end, which tells me all of the drive parameters were reset to factory default. Now if the reset didn't work, you'll get a brief error message on the screen. For most parameter entry operations, it's easy to miss that because they're both three letters and they both begin with the letter E. So watch that closely when you're entering parameters. Fortunately, for the reset operations, it's kind of hard to miss because the display also frantically flashes at you until you press the stop button to clear the error. To reset the PLC, again, make sure the PLC is not enabled, then go to parameter 908 and select item 6. Again, if you see the end, then the PLC is now reset. Setting parameter 8.0 to a 41 will show the kilowatt hours used by the drive in the user portion of the display. I can reset that by going to parameter 908 and entering a 5. To reset the communications cards, go to parameter 963 and enter a 1. This will reset the IP addressing that was copied to the card from the drive's P9 parameters. The drive's P9 parameters will still be in the drive, so you can simply copy them back to the communications card after you reset it using parameter 964 and entering a 2. All of this is super easy to do using the GSoft 2 app, which you can download for free from the AutomationDirect website. Click here to learn more about the GS4 drive. Click here to learn about AutomationDirect's free support options, and click here to subscribe to AutomationDirect's YouTube channel so you'll be notified when we publish new videos.